Hey everyone, welcome to Touchstone Live Fitness. My name is Bryn. Today I'm going to be going over some deadlift variations. All right, so first we have the barbell deadlift. Um, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like first. I'm sure you've all seen a barbell deadlift before. Here's a few reps. All right, so things we want to keep in mind when we're doing the barbell deadlift. Um, we want to line up our feet appropriately. So feet are about underneath your hip and the bar is going to line up about midfoot, somewhere around there. So you're going to bend over to get the bar by sending your hips back. Your shins can come forward a bit to touch the bar. That's okay. We just don't want your shins super far away from the bar at this point. So bending over to the bar, shins come close. Hands are kind of gripping just wherever your natural where they lie naturally. Usually it's directly underneath your shoulders, so shoulder width for the grip. Once you're here, we're gonna set our shoulders by rolling them down away from our neck. So nice long neck, neutral cervical spine here. We're keeping the chin tucked, we're not craning up and looking away at something, so eyes down on the ground. Grabbing the bar. Act like you're pinching something in your armpits. I like to say like juice and orange in there, even though, I don't know, maybe you do it, maybe not in real life, that'd be kind of weird. But set your arms and then drive your hips through all the way to standing, keeping the bar nice and close the whole way and return to that starting position. If you feel that you're smacking your knees as you go up, it means you're doing things in the wrong order, right? So think about driving with the legs first, slowly pulling the knees out of the way as you stand up. There you go, barbell deadlift. All right, so another version that you might be able to do at home if you have dumbbells is the dumbbell deadlift. Typically done with two dumbbells, looks like this. Really similar to the barbell deadlift. Usually you just have like the front two heads of the dumbbell touching the ground here. You don't need to go all the way to all four heads of the dumbbell touching. Um, setting up feet, pretty much the same width. They might be a little bit narrower depending on how big your dumbbells are, that's okay. And as we go down, hips send back, knees stay mostly over your ankles and shoot your hips through to stand up. If you have one dumbbell, that's okay too. You're probably gonna hold it on the sides and do more of a Romanian deadlift version where you're bending over to about mid shin, your back is parallel to the floor before you stand back up. So if you're just doing the one uh, dumbbell, I wouldn't go all the way to the ground, but you're still working in that hinge position by going to your mid shin. One thing to keep in mind during any of these deadlift variations is how you're aligning kind of like yourself to yourself uh, while going through the deadlifts. So we wanna keep that nice flat back as we're hinging throughout the whole movement. Sometimes it's hard to tell like where you're at in space as you're trying to move through it. So something I like to do, and you can do this yourself with a broomstick, a PVC stick, anything that's long enough, but you're gonna have a friend or you can hold it to your back here and you're gonna feel the stick aligning with like the top of your tailbone between your shoulder blades and the back of your head. Now these three points of contact are gonna stay in contact the whole time you hinge over. This happens in any form of the deadlift. If you feel one thing getting away, obviously I'm tucking my chin here so my head's not hitting, or some people will start to like round through the back and now you see that the tailbone is not touching anymore. So this can be a good way to kind of feel where you need to be holding tension as you go through your deadlift. 